Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're back over on Decimate's account to check out a 9 of 9 furniture. Rosaline, now she's got some interesting stuff going on where the description's kind of misleading, so we'll go through all that. I've seen a lot, a few Reddit posts about this um, discussing it, so I'll go through what I think I know and uh, what I'm not sure about. But also, some people have been asking me to get more of these like max furniture testing videos out. So in the comments of this video, uh, leave what hero you'd like to see tested at 9 furniture and between Decimate, Shazam, uh, Kiasma and other people hopefully I can jump onto an account and test them out for you um, if I can't well you know whatever but leave what you want to see and then just upvote the one if it's already there and then I'll look at that and that'll be the next one that I'll try and cover for you guys anyway let's get into it So, Rosaline. Okay, the furniture. As Rosaline is following an ally around the battlefield, she manifests teacups. In, in, in quotation marks, teacups. <laughs> Remember that for later. That she throws at the enemy. This ability is triggered once every 2.5 seconds. The effects of this ability are identical to crazy crockery ability. It's very, it's going to get confusing in a minute. And then the level nine, which, which makes it really nice, is 0.75. So let's then look at her crazy crockery ability. So this one, this one is what makes her a beast in damage because it deals damage based um, on the tar target's current health. But wait for it. Rosaline takes out two teacups um, or teapots and hurls them at an enemy, inflicting 120% damage per item on the target, leaving them temporarily stunned. Rosaline will prioritize her attacks against the same enemy as the ally of which she is following and is currently, I completely butchered that, but whoever the ally she's following is attacking, that's who she throws them at. Um, and then level two increases the quantity of crockery to three pieces. Rosaline now throws an additional fork that deals additional damage equal to 20% of the enemy's current health. So it's uh, this is where it's completely misleading in this ability where it says like this is this is the big drama that, like that's going on about this ability. They've really got to like narrow down on this stuff because it is it is kind of misleading. So the 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 reason the, the way it says teacups you go okay the fork isn't included. But then it says the effects of this ability are identical to crazy crockery ability. And if you have it skilled up, then to be identical, it would have to use the skill ups. So it's a contradiction. And basically what people have found in testing is that she doesn't throw the fork. So she's not doing that extra damage. To be fair, every every 0.75 seconds, if she's doing 20% of the enemy's like remaining HP, like that's like she already does ridiculous damage for a support whose ultimate doesn't even do damage like it would be busted i agree but i feel like the description's just a little bit hazy i've also heard that it only does one of the cups um so we'll have to see you but as you can see uh rosaline now throws an additional saucer that causes all damage but the target the target receives to be increased by 40 percent for four seconds so, it's it's an interesting one. We're going to test it. We're going to test it on low speed to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see how it applies. <laughs> so let's jump into some testing. Okay, so here we are. We're just over in the uh, in the Misty Valley to do this testing. Now, I've got it on one time speed. I've got auto taken off so we don't see any ultimates. Hopefully, this way we can just get a gauge on what Rosaline is actually doing. So, uh, I believe she gets stunned in that position. So, let's swap this up and see if she doesn't get stunned. I don't know what will happen. But anyway, I just want you to look at Rosaline and above her head and look at the cups. Now, when she does her normal ability, she's going to put like the five cups and the fork or whatever, however many it is up there. Um, but then she's going to continue continuously spam a little cup that comes above her head so it's definitely not identical to the ability because it's only summoning one cup um but i just want to you know look above her head to get a representation of what's going on there so she's stunned anyway okay big big rips this is the bat yeah let's let's try okay so here she comes she's gonna put all the cups up and then she gets the little one above her head she did get stunned there which sucks but it's okay um, she's gonna get all of them up and now she should pop a little one see it's very sporadic it's not 
like really regular. Let's let's try again. Let's try again. Let's put auto on so we don't die and see if we can see if we can watch it happen here. So there goes all those cups. There's another little one that pops up, another little one. And you can see, like, when she's not doing anything else, they do pop up, like, every... And this one here, you can see it's overlapped. It's got a plate and a cup. So she does actually spam it. Um, but I believe when she's sweeping, she's not going to be doing it. But there she goes, does her ult. I'm waiting to see another little cup above her head. Still haven't seen one. That was a set of cups. There's the little cup again. So as you can see, that's that one little cup that keeps popping up. Now... That's a representation. It doesn't seem really reliable on the 0.75 second thing. Um, but the other thing I want to look at is the stun capabilities of it because her cups do stun. So let's go here and check this out and put it on. We'll leave it on one time speed again. It's a bit hard to judge against Tassie. We're probably in the wrong battle for it. But Tassie does teleport there. Now let's see who the cups are going at. And as you can see, we do keep interrupting that Lyca, which is really nice. So I believe they do stun. Let's go to let's go to a different um, different enemy over here, maybe. See how this goes. Um, okay, that sucks with you. That sucks. I'm I'm looking for just a straight up enemy where it's going to be easy for us. This one looks pretty solid. This one we should be pretty fine with. Uh, Astral is going to do the knockback. He's going to do that. Let's let's do it here. Let's see if we can see. Now, watch the bait. I want to see him get stunned a lot. Is he going to get stunned a lot? Is my question. He, it looks like interrupts, but man, I tell you what. This 9 furniture Lyca deals so much damage that it's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think... I definitely think with this, it's completely... Like, I, even when I did my, like, video about it when, it when we first looked at her furniture... I thought it was going to be complete. That's a bad team for it. Man, I just want a simple team to watch because I, I would do Riz or something, but, you know, you can't stun him. So that is that. This is a this is a good team to test against, except Aziz will mind control her, which sucks. So we'll swap it up that way. Okay, let's watch. Watch the Aziz. Let's see if he's getting stunned a heap. Uh, we get banished, which sucks, and you can't really see it. Damn, I'm telling you what, this is... This is tougher than I thought to do. But you do keep seeing little stun symbols above the head there. You can see them up here. They keep popping. Obviously, Rowan's going to be stunning now. But there's another little stun. So I'm fairly certain it is applying the stun from what I can see here. But that's pretty much what you're using it for. The pr Pretty much the big thing about Rosaline's furniture. Let's see her go here. She should hit the Lucius with some cups. Take it off auto. Hmm. There's stun on rain, stun on rain. Okay, it's definitely stunning more often than the than she puts the five cups up. So I'm I'm fairly confident to say that the stun does apply. However, when we look at her skills again, let's go here. Rosaline skills. Uh, so you, you basically all you're getting out of it because it says she takes out two teacups but it appears that I think the way it's supposed to read is that she takes out an additional teacup that has the effects of this ability so she takes out two teacups and uh, or teapots or whatever and hurls them at the enemy 120% damage per one and leaving them temporarily stunned so I feel like what it's actually supposed to say is every 0.75 seconds or in the original description if we go here I believe what it's supposed to say is every 2.5 seconds she'll throw an extra cup that has the effect of each cup in I don't even know the way to word it good but I just know this is worded horribly. <laughs> the effects of this ability are identical. Um, maybe if it's the effects of the cup, but I feel like this needs to be represented better to display that she's only throwing one of those cups. She's not throwing all four of them. She's not throwing the fork. It's not applied by the skill ups. It's basically, you could say every 2.5 seconds, she's throwing an additional cup that deals 120% damage and temporarily stuns the enemy. 
that's the way to do it. That's the way it should be worded, in my opinion, because like I said, very misleading. I thought it was gonna be completely busted when I got into it, just due to the fact that the effects of the ability are identical to crazy crockery. So just, I know, I know I've, I've done a lot of talking about it, but basically her signature item, decent for interrupts. Not worth it for bosses. You get an extra 120% damage every time she throws it, which, you know, is is okay. Like, it definitely adds up. But um, I have seen a post on Reddit about someone wrecking, thinking that the 8 furniture did more damage than 9 furniture. So it might have been RNG, but you'd think if you get an extra 120% damage every... And you're getting it, like, a bonus, like, every second, like, you think you get high damage. Anyway, not too sure. But you're only getting one additional cup, which isn't huge for damage, but nice for control. I probably went around that too much, but I just really wanted to clarify that because it is confusing. So for Rosaline, she's one for me that I probably won't put on. Uh, I probably won't put on my furniture wish list. Like it's nice to have. I just feel like there's more relevant furnitures. I mean, the interrupts can be huge. That is 100% correct. Uh, for me though, Rosaline is mainly gonna be used in a Gwyneth comp and Gwyneth is stunning them every time, ideally anyway, with the RNG. Um, so the extra stun isn't really gonna add that effect. Now, if you're using Rosaline primarily with someone else, then I can definitely see it being a thing um, to get those extra stuns where you don't already have them. But that's just my opinion, guys. We're not gonna do too much play around with it. I just wanted to sort of get 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 the info out there about Rosaline, but you know, make your decision if you wanna put her on the wish list. Me personally, I'm gonna leave her off because like I said, Gwyneth is my thing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.